Hello everyone and welcome. I don't normally do these types of videos, but I recently had a lot of trouble and I think that this all worked out. But I'm going to be teaching you how to install Terraria Tmod Loader 64-bit. Naturally, you get either 2 or 4 uh, megabyte, I mean gigabytes, of RAM for your Steam Tmod Loader. But if you use this, you get 16 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes depending on how much RAM you have in your own computer. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is verify the integrity of your Tmod Loader game files just to make sure that everything is exactly how it's supposed to be. So right click on Tmod Loader, click on Properties, then go to Local Fios, Files and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Now if like me, it says all files successfully validated, then you are ready. If it doesn't, I'm too lazy to include a tutorial on that. So it should just automatically fix itself, but if it doesn't, find another tutorial. After that, you're going to want to go to this. I'll leave a link in the description. And you're going to want to scroll down, and if you have a Linux or Windows, got the corresponding one, or if you have, or I don't really know much about Vulkan, so I can make another tutorial about that if you want me to. Alright, so I have Windows, so I'm going to click that, so I'm going to click Windows, and I'm going to wait for it to download. So once you have it in your main area, you're going to want to open it up. I use WinRAR, but it's fine if you don't. After you open it up, you're going to want to click on Settings on Steam, Manage, and then go to Browse Local Files. Once you're here, you can go and copy every single file here. Just click on it, press Control A, and now take every single file from your zip. It doesn't matter if it's a zip or if you already unzipped it. You can do either one. You just want to move it into there. And boom. Then, after that, there is maybe one or two more steps. Right click Tmod Loader 64 bit, not the server, but this one. Go to Properties. Then you'll see a tab called Security. And then you'll see something at the top called Object Name. Make sure you copy all of it, and then press Control C to copy it. After that, you're going to want to go to Tmod Loader on Steam, Properties, Local Files, no, not Local Files, just General. You're going to want to put a quotation mark, paste it, another quotation mark, and then space, percent, command, percent. And after you've done that, once you exit out and click play, everything should be working. You'll know it's good if a little thing in the top left corner opens up, a command prompt. Do not close the command prompt, otherwise it will close Tmod Loader as well. Here it is, Relogic opening up. And in the bottom left corner, if it says Tmod Loader version 0 0.11.8.5 or what other other version running in 64-bit mode, then you are good. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please comment down below if you have any other issues. I will be glad to answer your questions.